Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, welcome to TFLP. Apparently Peter's not on camera. <coughs> I'm here, I see me. There we go. Where's You're real to us. Thank you. Start over. All right, do over, everyone. Maybe. There I we go. I think we're doing over. All right. All right, we got it. All right. Hi, welcome to TFLP, episode 574. We are live tonight. It is Wednesday, April 10th. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Catherine. Hello. And Peter. Forever Destron. And Anna. Good evening. So, welcome everyone. Um, so, starting off TFLP, I just want to say that, you know, some other certain members of the cast want to plan these episodes out and have a <laughs> pre-planned topic that we discuss, right? I personally prefer to, you know, wait on some of this so that, you know, if say something topical happens to come up the night before the show, you know, that we're not, you know, focusing the show on something else. But Lucas wants to talk about leak lists at all times. Lucas no, lives in a no, world of no. leak lists and like news blurbs, and we got to talk about the hot new thing. And nope. Well, we can talk about other stuff occasionally. Go to those other websites, the ones whose names we don't mention for that sort of stuff. The unmentionable. We're going to discuss MP tiers next week. We will yeah, be discussing so, MP. Yes, for sure. Yeah, so there's apparently, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's not talking about leak lists and upcoming things. It's talking about the ending of things. So anyway, we'll we'll talk about that, I Topicking. guess, next week. So, you know, because like why we don't break news anyway here. So it's fine. Can I, can I just pop in for like the five minutes that we actually talk about Genrai and then pop out? That's what I want to do. Right. Yeah, so Anna, like, did you already get Power Baser or? I have Power Baser, yeah. And I'm very attracted to the concept of DX9's new small size Super God Master Force friends. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and K I don't know. KFC, do, don't they have a Genrai as well? Oh, KFC has something common, but it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, fair enough. Well, they released the trailer first. <clears throat> a trailer with no cab. Oh, uh, yeah. No I cab know. on fleek. Well, I'm yeah, sure well, Rob I mean, that... is in love with it somehow, right? Because it's KFC, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. They So if you buy it, you get a cardboard cab to put in it. So you can have a little cardboard cab pulling the trailer. Looks real fancy. Or you can stick it in the chest to make super cardboard Genrai. Ooh, super cardboard Genrai. Super cardboard Genrai. Official name. Official name. That checks, yeah. So yeah, really if, weird. Uh, if uh, people aren't aware of, uh, about the news that I guess came out last night um i guess that in was it an interview or something that i guess takara revealed that uh jinrai is going to be the last masterpiece figure that's released as far as takara masterpiece and i think now it's going to be what mpng did they say i guess it's mpg 
It's I all going to be in don't, PG. Don't correct him. Don't correct him. Let him run with his bad news, his bad news takes, and, and Ooh, spend time on this. Right. Peter. Let him just be. Let him just break the news wrong. TFYLP, come here for wrong news. Well, we can't have a show on. I rely on you, Peter. A period of mourning. I'm, I'm staying. I'm staying. Mum on everything. I'm here to talk about old stuff. I'm not here to talk about new jankiness. Okay, fair enough. But anyway, just I'm, I'm going to talk for, about some old jankiness. For any audio listeners, you know, because I know Ron and in, in the chat was mentioning about official MP is dead. So that's that's where uh, that was coming from. And that's fair. We'll discuss it in more detail next week or what what we what we think about it so we can get some of the other masterpiece collectors on to bemoan um that and and uh and whatnot but us generations be a lot of collectors money. we we don't care right so anyway so peter what what's the old things that you're wanting to discuss i don't know you're the host tell me what we're doing I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> what are we doing? We're gonna do some wallet <laughs> afflictions. I think wallet. we're gonna yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna discuss some things that we've purchased uh or acquired somehow in the last <laughs> certain number of of days, weeks, three, months. Three weeks, years. last three weeks. Yeah. I got a box. Do you wanna do you wanna go through my box? We do. Peter has a box. Yeah, here, there. I got here, a box. box. I got a, I got a knife too. Well, it's like a box cutter. I can't okay. take it on airplanes anymore. But give me a sec. Let me grab this box. It's, it's that's my chair creaking. That's not me making weird noises. It's your chair, not your joints. Uh, my my joints. See, I got this box. It's a good oh, box. A big box. Wow. That's... Okay. Like you said, you had a box, and I expected a box, but I did not. Expect box the size view i get a couple boxes one item like, or is it like a million items it's like uh maybe a couple dozen i get a box like this about every month it's, it's pretty great being me i'm gonna be humble about it though so anyway uh this is i guess this is a, an impromptu out of my wallet because i got to talk about toys i want to talk about news i want to talk about old stuff and I want to show you how excited I am about old stuff. And I don't even know if I'm broadcasting anymore, if my video cut out or if my internet's dead. Oh, we see it. No, Yay. You, your, your internet's up. So, yeah. We see and you. Peter, you used you to have too. a show on your YouTube channel, right? I have my own YouTube channel. I do. I've, I haven't made a video in 15 months, but at some right. point I'm going to start doing that again. So Maybe. if you ever want to check out, because Peter used to, on a monthly basis, uh, have a show where he would essentially do this and open up the things but it had much higher production quality than what we can offer here on tflp and so it was very informative and like i think you had some graphics or something and you would actually you know give us like background on things and a history lesson on that it was, it was very great um thank you but uh i, but, I can't so, do that anymore because like i moved and now I don't have the storage units that I used to have. So it's kind of hard to like, hey, kids, units, get out of the house. Plural. Yeah, I had, I had three storage units in a row, 10 by 20 each, 10 by 10 by 20, um, three in a row. I had most of a building to myself, and I would just kind of stand in the unit and dig through boxes and show stuff off. Uh, sure, but now like I've got collectors. Yeah. So instead of talking to myself in the unit, I would record it. That way I could like, share it you know so some bubble wrap bubble wrap i'm moving stuff in my living room that's why there's like random totes and junk sitting around <laughs> hey do you guys want to talk go bots we do you like go bots that's what oh, this so is called. i do have a question for you peter so yeah. i know that on a previous show you know, a while ago, there was an issue because the standard storage totes that you were using, I guess, had went um, out of stock or whatever. Like, they quit being well, That was produced. a long time ago. And so long that was a ago. long time ago. But my question is, is now that you no longer have an infinity closet and that the uh, collection is on site, do you have to concern yourself as much with that? Or like, do you still have that issue or are you able to display some more so then it takes 
you know, some of the like. Do I look concerned? <laughs> I mean, honestly, um, the original totes that I was using from 2009 to 20, 2018 are discontinued indeed. Ha uh, Hasbro. Uh, Home Depot had a substitute that I that they put out for about three years. So I bought up all of those that I could. I have about 100 of the new style and about 200 of the old style. They're 37-gallon totes. Um, and now they don't make them in anything. They do make a rough Rubbermaid Roughneck 31-gallon tote that they've brought back the Roughneck line or whatever. But it's like really shoddy materials. And if you like lean on it just a little bit, it completely buckles. So anyone that buys those, good luck. Good luck. Your stuff's going to be ruined. Um, but yeah. So no, I don't. I don't have. I don't have a plan. I don't have anything. I just kind of spread it all over the couch and the living room and tell the kids don't watch TV and don't enjoy your lives and don't touch my stuff and avoid the corners and don't go near the walls and don't let the pets step on that and we just have a good time of it. Here it is we'll some it. stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. What do you want to look at first? I don't know. Me too. You don't know what the choices the first thing are. You pull out. Yeah. All right. First is thing. Is there I... a multiple choice exam yeah. here? Or... No. Okay. Here's the first thing I pull out. It is. Uh... Ooh. Robot. Japanese ro ro RID. Mm-hmm. This is uh, a car robot. Uh, what's his name? It, he was Skids in America or whatever. Uh, but in Japan, his name is. Ugh. Hang on. I used to know this stuff. Indie Heat. It's Indie Heat. Sorry. I know Christian, if he's watching, he's like screaming at the screen. It's Indie Heat. You know Indie Heat. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Just a normal, your normal run of the mill Indie Heat. This was a little closer to the camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I couldn't quite see who it was. Yep. My, uh, my, my other one is, is open. So this one is not open. And that's good. And I have the, uh, the, the Just Go redeco version somewhere upstairs so that's fun that's uh, a good toy that's a toy i'd like to own again yeah it's a good toy those, those flip changers are a lot of fun they are they they don't need to be more than they are and they're just fun to play with and they're mm -hmm. fun to flip mm -hmm. and of course this one was this started its life as a machine wars figure and as prowl and mirage and then it saw later life. Well, it got redecoed as the Justco exclusive, and it got redecoed in Robot Masters as uh, Rigi or Mirage. And then, did we see any more of that mold? Maybe. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to look it up. Maybe, maybe someone in the chat can let us know. Yeah, you're asking the wrong crowd. Okay. Here's one. This is a mini con. Don't know what. Ugh, can you see it? It's a propeller. Okay. Yeah. No idea. So okay, this is Guardian Sky. It's a Minicon redeco of uh, whatever that one was from uh, from Cybertron. It was, his name was Hop in Japan. I forget what his name was in America. So I don't know. He got redeco. Yeah, the odds are pretty good. You're going to have to educate me on everything you pull out of that box. Hey, oh, so. So, yeah, so this is just a, a redeco. There was Guardian Sky, Guardian Powered and Guardian Speed, I think. And they were just rando store mm -hmm. exclusive decos from 2006, I want to say. I want to say 2006. I could be wrong. Could be 2007. Who knows? Where are we going to put Guardian these Guardian Sky was a redeco of Cybertron Jolt. Jolt, who came out as Hop, uh, you know, the year prior in Japan. Oh, good for him to come out. Yeah. Love all all the helicopter bots. All right. Any ideas? Gotcha pawn. Gotcha pawn. Okay. Inside these gotcha capsules, these are some gotcha arms microns from 20, ah. 2013, I want to say. Uh, this is volume one. There are six. Obviously, uh, there are there's two pairs of two different decos and then two others or whatever. So there's like little complete. Optimus Prime. Hmm? Yeah, it's a complete wave. Yep, complete wave. Um, 
and we'll get to some of the other goody stuff later. God, it's gonna be good. Uh, but I yeah, so, those. those are pretty good. Those yeah, are these pretty are cool these are great. These were redecoed two, three, four times each. Uh, sometimes <laughs> assembled like these in in gotch capsules, and sometimes on like sprues that you had to snip and assemble yourself. But the ones on sprues are often uh, translucent plastic, so you need to be really really careful when you snip them off the sprues because if you try and just pop them out you might break the figure itself oh. yeah so you don't want that Oof. but you so. can have things like a star scream holding a star scream with that or yes a wheel like jack the... holding a wheel jack you know it's fun yep. there's wheel jack kunai and star scream boomerang and rc blade and i want to say bumblebee sword and optimus prime blaster and bulkhead knuckle and then the rando animals dado and gabu and others there's a whole bunch of them they're, they're fun to collect what is this this is a box this is a box but we're not going to look at that yet we're going to look at this okay we're going to get off transformers for a second so you're going to have to indulge me because there's some uh, okay and i got a sil i got a silver temino sword from either age of extinction or lost age this was redecorated a couple of times it's that prime sword where he's like oh yeah by the way i'm a knight and then he gets gets that new fight. and this the whole time yeah, yeah. I've, I've always been able to fly and I've always had armor that I just never used. So, again, that's that's tape that I'm pulling. If you hear random noises, that's not me making the noises. That's tape. So, are you okay. cutting the tape? I am I am yanking the tape. Well, so, if you want to take a minute and unwrap a couple of things, Anna has something she could show off. Do that. Do that. But he's almost there. I know, but he's got several things he can unwrap. Oh, that's true. It's that's like true. Christmas, Anna. Christmas. Fine, Anna. fine, fine. I'm. I'll usually hold off on the thing I really want to show off, but just in case. But I know Peter has a million things, so this might be my my chance. So. I'm going to take my chance and mention that I have today something that I have been waiting for for over five years. This toy was revealed by a third party company that it was coming out and the pictures progressed pretty quick to almost done levels. It was like, oh, it's going to come out anytime soon. Well, that was like 2018, 2019 passed, 2020 passed. 21, 22, 23, and finally, Factory Starween. You can see the picture of her on the box. I did not realize that it actually finally came out. She's beautiful. I, just, I literally got it today and said, well, this is lucky because I get to show this off on the show. Not cutting tape because Iron Factory doesn't tape their boxes. So therefore, I cannot cut any tape. And this is just a fantastic release that I've been waiting for for so long. She comes with 86,000 hands, extra faces with no face. So you have to put a face on it with water slide decal eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, those are nice eyeballs. Hey, oh, luckily, no, they're, I, have they're learned fun. How to, yeah. I have learned how to do water slides. I know how to do it now, and I'm not uh -huh. worried about it. Yeah, Back in the day, I would have been like, yeah, I mean, I mess them up sometimes. And then usually there's a spare of most things. Mm -hmm. the, the makers understand that, you know, it's really easy to make a mistake. On like regular decals where it's also really easy to make a mistake. But I just really want to show her off. Look at this little pretty thing. Oh, look at it. She's like Bashojo and Starscream, but a toy instead of a statue. The cutest Starscream. She's really now, cool. Does she actually transform? She does not. So when they first revealed mm -hmm. this, they revealed this. And they said that it would come with the robot girl and kind of a human girl body for it, too. And that ended up not actually happening, right? She's the only thing in the box. And they also okay. said it would come with a set of girl transformer 
Supreme. So it was supposed to come out with the redeco of their slipstream as Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, but that didn't actually happen. These came out like years ago now. It's been a while since these came out in a very cheap three pack, um, which are just redecos of their slipstream. And she did not come out with human parts. She did not come out with the extra hair accessories. None of those things actually happen. It's just the action figure by herself. Um, Non-transforming. Kind of big for a Legends figure, to be completely honest. This is kind of a somewhat massive Legends figure. I mean, here's one of the biggest Legends figures, the MFT version of Magnus. He's kind of huge, and she's not small compared to him. So, it's pretty big for yeah. Iron Factory. Yeah, really big for Iron Factory. She's a big Iron Factory toy. Hmm. But yeah, very exciting. Very glad she finally came out. Very cool. I guess if they release the other two, I'll get them too. Sure. You know. <laughs> Have a whole hey, group. for the price of all three of them, I could have one Bishojo figure. Or I could have all three little action figures instead. You know? I think you made the right choice. Yeah. I might end up with the Bishojo figures too, you know. You know how flaky I can be sometimes. I'm like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Then I buy it. Bishojo? (laughs) What? Yeah, that's all I have right now is Optimus. That Starscream sure is nice, but I really do have to get the Bumblebee next if I'm going to get one. Why the Bumblebee? She's oh, I just really love Bumblebee. So, and she's adorable. I really like that design they made. Now, there's a recent third party called Little Bee, the girl figure who's very much a shell former that turns into a beetle and has a girl figure inside of it. There's that too. Mm-hmm. From oh gosh, what did they even call that company that released it? Some sort of space, not deformation space, a different space. Different space. Anyway, glad to have her with her little gun arms and make her null rays That's stand cool. up and shoot for some reason. Like Gradius options. That's going to be a hard Anywho. one to buy after this. Yeah, but you're all like, I don't buy non-transforming figures. I so. just showed you, just flashed showed you Optimus. But that's a, that's a statue. It's not a figure. What? I was trying to help you. I'm being a friend. Is that a play set? Yes. This is a playset. This is the Machine Robo Battle Base, uh, circa 1986. It is a towable, openable. Like this one's a little bit yellowed, but the insides are all good. Uh, so I'm, it's going to be it's going to be sacrificed to another thing because I've got a good shell in the other room. It's got a working elevator, just up and down, makes a squeaky noise, and it has this canopy, which is usually broken with good paint on it. So I'll be able to reconstitute this into something more complete and a little bit better shape and it is towable you pull this out and then there's a little peg and you can have people pull it around what is it called what is it from Uh, it's from machine robo uh revenge of chronos it's called the battle base they spent they spend like in the cartoon or in the anime they spend like five episodes building the thing and then they spend the next 10 episodes which is the end of the series defending it and it just gets all sorts of mangled it's like, so, buy this toy, buy this toy. Oh, oh, it got well, ruined. Well, having an incomplete one is show accurate then. It's there you go. Mangled. Yep. And then mingle then, your own. So yeah. um, for the for the bases, right? Um, the GoBots bases, um, the, you know, they had the, the command center and then mm-hmm. uh, what was the um, thruster? The back, yeah. For those like. Was there also a corollary in Machine Robo for those, or were those unique to GoBots? Those were designed in-house by Tonka for the GoBots line. This was designed by Bandai for Machine Robo. So Tonka imported 
Bandai machine robos over to make those into GoBots along with some right. other stuff. Right, uh, right, right, but right. it didn't it didn't go the other direction. But gotcha. some GoBots specific items were released in like Australia and Europe as uh, Robo Machine or Machine Men stuff featuring uh-huh. the GoBots, and it'll have some rando GoBots designs. So there's some there's some incestuous weirdness in Europe and Australia, but Japanese stuff is the Japanese stuff, and the American stuff is a hodgepodge mess. Right, which was, you know, pretty normal for the time, I feel like. Right, I feel like all the robots in America of, like, anything was a hodgepodge of things. That Licensing. Random, it's just... random lines of, like, from Japan or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was just a licensing nightmare. Just just buy it up, buy it up, get the rights to use it. Put it out, put it out, kids will buy it. So this next thing is my first one of these that I've, I've gotten. It's still in like plastic, but uh, this is from a Super Sentai series called Flashman. This is called the Flash Titan, and it's slightly mistransformed in this bag. I got to pull it out. But this toy was redecoed and slightly retooled to be released as part of Machine Robo. It was retooled twice, once as Tough Trailer, who I have in my case over here, and once as Pro Truck Racer, who I have two of in my case over here. I, I, I can pull out pro, one of the loose Pro Truck Racers for a comparison, if you give me a second. Just one second. So, Peter, the Australian and uh, European lines that you had mentioned, have you started collecting any of those, or have you mainly focused on... Uh, Machine Robo and GoBots. Oh, apparently you didn't have your headset on. Um, the uh, have you started collecting any of the Australian and European lines that you were mentioning? Uh, the what was it Robo Machine, Machine and Machine yeah, Men? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit. So Dabble. this is Flash Titans cab. Uh-huh. And this is Pro Truck, uh, uh, yeah, Pro Truck Racer. So it, it's a redeco and slight retool on the back on the wheels and stuff here. And then Pro Truck Racer is this massive cannon, whereas Flash Titan has this trailer that he tows. And speaking of MPG Jinrai or whatever, this thing stands up and you can put this guy in there to make one giant robot which I'm not going to do on camera because that's delicate. But you can see his, his combiner mode head in there a little bit. So cool. it kind of sits in there, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's that's what I have next. It's going to take me some digging to do the next part, and i got to put Pro Truck Racer back. So who's next? Catherine, did you want to? Well, I just pull, I decided to pull out something that was just a little more odd, not necessarily recent, but a little, but, but a cute little odd piece of my collection that I rather love because I figured between the three of us, we have some of the odder collections of the cast. You got it recently. Hmm. I said you got it recently. I suppose yes. And this <laughs> was a uh, convention exclusive and is number ninety-eight of one hundred. And. He's a moo cow. Because I, I love this. I love Cassetticons, and this was a uh, what a dairy con exclusive. Mm-hmm. And I love my little moo cow. He goes moo. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the exclusives they work. get made. What's that? I love the exclusives they get made. It's just. Like, there's so much more just zany, right? Because if you make it exclusive for your own convention that's not, you know, just a straight-up homage of a Transformers character, no one's going to care if you make badass McBadassarton and he's really cool and has a bunch of lasers and blah, blah, blah. Make a freaking cow, right? Make something fun. Do something silly and memorable. I love that. And this is out of uh, KFC's, for, um, the mold that KFC first used for Ramhorn. Mm-hmm. And it sucked really hard as Ramhorn. Boy, just it was terrible. But for a cow, mwah, awesome. Excellent. Uh, 
a true just delight to have in my Cassetticon collection. I don't know. Anna, now I, I kind of want to have badass McBatterson or whatever you were saying. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I will be sure to make it as the exclusive for the first annual AnaCon. We need to actually get that back to that name back to DairyCon and mention it, and so then that way maybe <laughs> they'll make him next year. Because I think is DairyCon this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone in the Midwest. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to top this as an exclusive, though. I mean, it's I, a cow. They're having this year's exclusive is a transforming brick that turns into a, 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 an NES cartridge of Return of Convoy or Convoy Nonazo, Mystery of Convoy. That's so, that's good. Oh, but I know. No cow. I want it so bad. <laughs> I really wish I could have gone to get that. I would love to have that thing. Every time I love I, Mystery I, of Convoy, it's so bad. Mm hmm. Although I do worry about his health a little bit. He's got, he's got a little bit of red eye going on. So I'm going to have to take him to the vet. Oh, no. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, it's and funny. we're back to P back to Peter's box of mysteries. You know what this is? A weapon. On no, it's like an axe. Of some sort. Yep. It is, it, well, it is the... Uh, the I want to say it's the Terra Spear from Lost Age or Age of Extinction. And it is one of the, quote, legendary weapons that were on lockdown ship and you have to collect them. And it was only available for a specific weekend if you spent so much money at a specific store on certain products. You were handed. Yeah, you were handed this thing. That's it. Woo. Yeah. I feel like it had to be a certain phase of the moon. For you to get it to, just with that list of requirements. Possibility. Yeah. So that's that. Mm -hmm. What's next? Do we have more? I guess it's I'll like sheet. mention something Sorry. like, uh, although those... all my crap is is boring, but I did get Mr. Flapjack backstacks over here. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Wheeljack, Origins Wheeljack, right? Um, and, I, you know, when I took him out of the box, I was like, oh, well, this doesn't seem too bad. But the, like, cardboard was kind of, like, in between the, like, backpack, right? Like so, like, the backpack, backpack. was there. And then I was just like, oh, my God, this is a huge, huge backpack. Mm -hmm. Um so yes, he's he's very he has lots and lots of panels and flaps and and such. So would you say that he's he's retooled from literally from Unicron? <laughs> Potentially. Yeah, I think he's actually a part of Unicron. They just like pulled him off. Oh there you go. Anna has he is a Unicron Anna partial. Control. Yeah, I yeah, recognize yeah, him from the Haslab. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 definitely. It looks just like it. Yeah. So Yes. Although All of my I local stores like put the them out. I was going to say, I do kind of like the chest on this mm -hmm. one. But anyway, you were saying your store? Yeah, what do you think of the figure? Me? Yeah. What do you think um, of it? Uh, you know, it's fine. I, I, uh... like, I like collecting, like, I don't know, it's kind of a fun little line with, like, him and Jazz and, uh, and Bumblebee. So it's... Uh, I I'm I'm glad I have him, but uh, you know he's he's very very hefty. So do you put your uh, siege sound wave in lamp mode to, for him for them to drive under? Oh, that's a good idea. You can. And then you can open them up and put all sorts of stuff in your jacker. Yeah, that's a you pretty big. You just be like, uh, oh, here's there. my Q transformer. No, oh, now it's in there. Q transformer shockwave lives in Willjack now. See you later. What else can I shove in there? Here's a D20. Goes in roll jack. <laughs> what else? I, Goes in roll I, jack. Would, um, I would love that, Anna, if you just start like a bunch of your D and D, &D in dice or whatever that he just holds all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Everything just goes in roll jack now. Random binder clip. Goes in roll jack. Oh, now he's ready to go. 
There you go. Make a delivery, Santa Claus. It's going to turn that into a weird weapon. Be careful. <laughs> and I haven't, I haven't actually uh, like checked, but the little rods that went with Bumblebee, do they fit into his little backpack thing back here? Yes, they clip onto the backpack. They, they clip on there. Yeah. So that's yeah, they do. So, Peter, what were you saying about uh, your area they, they have... that you have plenty of them? And oh no, we don't have. We don't have. Through? Yeah, we don't have any. Uh, all of our stores street date. I put them all out before the street date, uh -huh. and I found one and tried to buy it. And I was in uniform, so I couldn't like raise a fuss about it. I was like, okay, well, street date is street date. I have to do the right thing. And if uh, you're so, in uniform, you can raise the biggest fuss. I've done that before, and it's it's not it's not a good look. And I don't want to I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Um, so. So I didn't. So I didn't, and they're all gone. They're they're all gone. So, and most of my targets didn't even make a spot for them. They didn't put a tag out or anything. They just you know just threw them on the shelf. Ugh. And now they're all gone. And my local scalper, he has he has them for sale if you want them. Oh, how She's nice! She's posable. Yeah. She is. He's great. Ah. Um, more legendary weapons. Got gold shield exclusive. Ooh. Got the other deco of the Tamena sword. Got the quad shotgun in prime deco. These are, again, more of those. Uh, you can only get them on a certain weekend if you spend a certain amount of money on certain products. So I figured it was time to mop up some of that stuff. And so I did. Um, what about these? Decoys? Yup. Magnus and... Not really decoys. I can't tell the other one. It's Rodimus. Oh. Okay. How so you man are... like Rod? Yup. These are from, uh... 2010 Ramane from 1986. They're just more Keshigomus in the same scale as the other ones. Um, and that's that's it. Each one of these, I think there were eight different molds. Galvatron, Triptychon, Metroplex, or maybe not Triptychon, Galvatron, Rodimus, Metroplex, Menasaur, uh, Bruticus, Superion, Defensor, or Guardian. And they're each available in three decos. I assume the rest of us had no idea those existed. Do you know who introduced me to this set or this series? Richard. Richard from oh, really? Yeah, from uh, Kansas City. Well, from from Yeah. TF Expo. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Then, this is from Richard. Yeah. I came from Richard this weekend. He he comes up with all sorts of good stuff. And he's yeah. he's fun to talk I know. to. Gave me the opportunity Ooh. to have too many um, Rumble or Frenzy? Too many Q Transformers sure. already. It's 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 Rumble. It's Frumble. Whoever you want it to be, I guess. But this is uh, from... Rumble Storm. Um, yes. This is uh, slightly undersized from what we're used to. It's a different mold. Uh, it's from either Ramune or Chaco from 1985 from the Tatakai line. Uh, I think this is from Wave 2. But they did... Different molds of the cassettes, different molds of, you know, the Autobot cars. There were three different convoys. There was like a chunky convoy, a really lean convoy, and a convoy with his arm up. Um, different seekers, different, just different molds on all of them from what we got as our, as our decoys. If you like cassette molds, mm -hmm. Dr. Wu is putting out um, little molds of all of the, or little decoys of all the cassettes with their, with their, um, with Blaster and Soundwave. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little baby? Woo, they're, doing a, they're doing the uh, uh, shattered glass version of each, and then a, a, a sound waving blaster, and then they come with they each come with a set of decoys, and same with a damaged sound wave and a damaged blaster because they already released regular blaster and right. regular sound wave a while back. Mm -hmm. So this is a way to make so a rumble and frenzy are about the size of my thumbnail. They go up to his knee, so. They're yeah, teeny it, it, tiny. Again, about the size of my thumbnail. 
He's very like, quick, easy pre order. <laughs> and for like Where? 30 bucks for a set of both, for both that'll come with like six decoys each. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Where where would one be able to find that pre order? Shozy. On Shozy. Okay. Shozystore.com. I like it. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to paint them because I really like to paint very small things. It's like my favorite thing to paint. So I think I'm going to paint those. It'll be very fun. So the decoys that we got in 1987 with the throttle bots and the combiner guys, um, they were offered, was it BotCon 97, I think, uh, as painted little statue, you know, like little fake trophies. Um, but on the merchandising stuff for the decoys or for the Keshis for that year, 87, they actually advertised them on the fold-out pamphlet as being painted. And on some of the other merchandise, like the uh, Defeat Dinosaur and some of the like, board games and stuff that come with the, the Keshis, mm-hmm. they show them as being painted. So it's like, they don't come painted, but they, it feels like they were always encouraging you to paint them. So have at it. Go for it. This next one is an oddity that I saw and could not skip. Oddities are the best. Mm-hmm. It is a lanyard. A little zippy okay. lanyard badge holder thing that has Megatron on it. And it's from Universal Studios, but... Beijing. Beijing. Universal Beijing. Studios, Beijing. And it says it both on the clip here, which has a Decepticon insignia, and on the card itself down here. It says Beijing. So... My my collection of Universal Studios nonsense merch grows and has gone international, in addition to the Japanese stuff I already have. So, How many international Universal Studios are there? Singapore, Tokyo, Beijing, unknown. So keep your eyes open. There's stuff all over the place, and it's asking for me to buy it. I love oddity items. They're the, they're the things that make your collection unique. Mm-hmm. Like, and, like, right. unique to you. Yeah, it's it's like salt. It's, it's like, it's seasoning. Everyone has, I don't know, Universe 2010 Scourge or whatever. We all have that Scourge or, 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 or that some Classics Mirage. Everyone has Classics Mirage, that sort of thing. As an example, but not everyone has whatever the heck that. I've is. actually been discreetly displaying the most unique item in my collection this whole time. It's really? been blowing behind me. I think it's just a little bit outside of your camera. Really? Oh, the mercenary logo. No, you can um, you can see it on the. Um, can you see it on the stream? Okay, on good. The stream. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah you no, can. Up All right, good. good. Yep. So it's the mercenary it logo, huh? How did you? Where did you custom. acquire this from? Uh, custom made from the internet. Um, when I ordered a uh, Decepticon logo, uh, logo of the same style, uh, uh, like later on, I went back to that company and said, "Do you take custom orders?" They're like, "Sure, no problem." Did a fantastic job on the first try, and it was cheap as hell. It can't, um, I think, like with shipping, it was like fifty bucks. Uh-huh. Is that on like Etsy? Yeah, one of those Etsy sites. Those are always fun. And uh, what I like about Etsy is you can, a, a lot of the the artists will like work with you and like really try and like hammer out what you want and get that idea really nailed down so you can so they can make you happy and you know obviously you're buying their products so you're making them happy. Yep. That's great. And look at this free advertising they're getting by not remembering right. their name. <laughs> 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 And what else? What is this guy? Some sort of chain claw looking thing. Chain claw? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It just says Micron. Anyway, it's this guy. It's this dark, dark wolfy, wolfy wolf thing. I forget what it is. <laughs> dark wolfy, Spe- wolfy wolf. Okay, got it. Speaking of speaking of not remembering what the hell I'm looking at or what we're talking about. Uh, Micron exclusive. I'm pretty sure it was from Lost Age. Someone in the chat, help me out. Rescue me. Takara something. You might need to flash it up again with a little, little close, a little longer. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. 
Yeah, it's just a little wolfy guy. It's from that uh, like the 2008 or something. Uh, mold lost age. Not silver roller. Not that one. Carnivac. Derp. I said chain claw. I mean, sure. So I, I have burning chain claw, but upstairs somewhere. So is Carnivac. Sure. Kitty. Kitty. So yeah, uh, there were a bunch of exclusive microns for Lost Age. There were like four Dinobots or five Dinobots plus Silver Silver Roller and this guy and a few others. Hi, Kitty. This is what you get for crying. <laughs> yes, you get attention. The thing you hate the most. What is this? This is a box. This is a box in an envelope. So, Anna, what was the thing that you were less excited to show off? The Q Transformers? Oh, um, I mean, I, I have plenty of things I could show off because I've done two um, conventions in the last month. Two conventions. Oh, that's right. Yes. LA was this well, last month, huh? Yeah, LA was just a month ago, and then Galvacon was last weekend here in Kansas. And um, even though I didn't buy anything there, I traded some of my stuff for smaller items, so it would be easier for me to put it away and move. Um, so, you know, I traded things for things like Q Transformers, right? Because that was nice and convenient. Um, I can also share, though, if you'd like me to. Do you want to take a break, Peter, and I'll share something again? All right. So I recently decided to finally get back into getting Magic Square figures. So I decided to get the one of the older sets they had of Minibots. So who's inside the jacker now? Hey, that's not a binder. It's a little tiny gears. Ta-da! And I'll tell you about this little Gears here, right? Like, Lucas showed me his mainline New Gears um, last weekend. And it's, like, you know, simple and nice looking and totally adequate for what it is and easy to transform and fun to play with. This thing is gorgeous in both modes, right? Like, this is his truck mode. It is nice. The colors are that usual Magic Square saturated. The plastic's that usual Magic Square plastic. So the colors look more like animation models. I love it. It's so pretty. This thing is really, really complex. It takes a long time to transform. I transformed it earlier today with no discomfort. I know how to do it now. It's not bad. It just took me 30 minutes because that's how long it took, right? It wasn't because it was me going, oh my God, I don't know how to do this. No, I was just going at the rate you would go. And there he is. It's a very pretty little truck. I'm not going to transform it on camera because it would take me longer in the rest of the show to finish getting him to robot mode. But I can assure you, his robot mode is very nice looking. Usual Magic Square possibility. It's very nice. He comes in a set with Wind Charger, who is in robot mode. He is much larger than Wind Charger. Wind Charger is tiny. Um, very, very small figure. He's really nice, of course, just like Everything from Magic Square is always really nice. So smaller than, bigger than a Q Transformer, but still tiny. Very poseable, nice looking, I guess say, cartoon color saturation. I'm back into really enjoying Magic Square again. I, I could definitely go with the whole collection of Magic Square figures and be very happy. Tiny bots are in right now. I do love them. A lot of different places are, you know, there's enough good legends out there that you could have a whole collection i'm looking back at some of my older legends and just kind of seeing the progression right because you have like you have him right magic square from i think i think he's like two years old now and then you have one of the first magic square figures which was their beachcomber right same size but this beachcomber looks like a a sad golf cart it's kind of clunky by comparison yeah, it's not nearly as like, you know, this is nice. It's pretty seamless. Mm -hmm. You can Remember? see his face underneath. But other than that, you know. that's I mean, that's kind of par for the course of, for a non-Masterpiece Transformer. That you can see a face or a hand or something somewhere. That's that's fine. 
Absolutely. And underneath, not so bad, right? Yeah. You, usually, you probably don't display your trucks from underneath. I guess if you do, that's a cool collection. But it's, yeah, so I'm happy with these two. I remember admiring the the wind charger when they when they dropped the uh, the renders or whatever. That's a couple of years ago now. I'm wondering how how big he was because that's damn near perfect. That's that's like exactly what I'm looking for. I always like for for things like that. I wish like I don't I don't want to wish everyone to get knocked off or whatever. Or but but if someone were to upsize and knock off some Magic Square stuff, I wouldn't be upset because it would it would look really. Good I feel the it. same. It would look really good in their chug collection. I feel the same way. Yeah, because they're if this was knocked off and made into deluxe size, it would still be a really good toy. Mm-hmm. Right? It's not like it's simplified because it's small. No, no. It would still be great at a larger size. Do you guys remember when Beast Hunters like upscaled some of their Legion class figures and released them in deluxe packaging and they were just like really clunky, no elbows, no knees? nonsense no they, they, they sure did try something with that they, they sure did i don't know how well how well it worked but yep there's another legendary weapon this one is the tarot spear the other one i had Ooh. misidentified this is the prime axe i don't know what prime is doing with this thing this is prime axe tarot spear it's just a, a spear that came with i ah, can't see my light is all goofy can't see it but it's a spear it's a gray spear. It's boring, but it's a box to check, and now it's checked. What about my Rise of the Beast or Beast Awakening decals? See? Collect all 20. Now I have all 20. This one has, like, one of the ones I need. It's a set of, like, five or six crammed in there. And will have... you be labeling your boxes with them? Negative. Negative. Mm-hmm. These are going to get put in a bag or something and then forgotten about for the next 12 years. That's 20 boxes are could be clearly labeled. I don't want clearly labeled boxes. I've got these totes and these totes are wonderful because you know, it says Cyberverse on it. Well, let's see. It says Cyberverse right there. So it's, it's a clear. Would be better. A decal would be better. Like if it was like, if it said Cyberverse tote one of six or something like that, that would be the bee's knees. Um, what about my Dark of the Moon towel? Oh, there you go. <laughs> do you have it's some flip flops to go with that? Dark of the towel. It's, uh, do you it's ever a... buy uh, custom towels in like Artist Alley? I do not. I have not. I wouldn't be against it. I'm, I, when I go to Artist Alley, I'm looking for pins and decals mostly. Okay. I don't know how many of these towels are released or for how many different series, but I've got several Takara released towels that are specific to Transformers. So, weird stuff. Got a big Cyclonus towel in my closet. Yeah? Uh, like a More Than Me CI Cyclonus? IDW Cyclonus. Yeah. Something just went thump. It wasn't me. Always blame the cat. I want to, but it's not fair to the cat if it was like an intruder. You could see me go all Florida man on someone. Yeah. That poor bastard. It's fun. It's going to be a good time. So I guess I'll show off my other boring figure. Um, I have gears somewhere, um, like Anna mentioned, but I don't know where it's at right now. So, so the other one that I got... Uh, boring figure is my uh, Cybertron Starscream here. Okay. So, this is, is a that a deluxe figure. or a Voyager? Uh, it's a Voyager. Voyager? Okay. I mean, I don't know. Like, sure. Deluxe scale, I guess. Uh, I mean, I'm just asking the price point. I'm not trying to be... Here I'm a side swipe. Oh, the, the price point is, is Voyager price point. Okay. I'm not trying to be uh, snippy about, like, sizes or anything. I, I, I right, genuinely right. want to know what it is. Yeah. So... Um, so this guy does come with a cyber key, uh, which does nothing except for plug into the weapon. Um, and then also there's a little slot in the back of him, uh, that you can put the cyber key into as well. Um, now that also does nothing to put it in there other than just holds it. But can, 
you put the key in places reminiscent of the original figure. That looks right. I mean, on the back, that's the one thing, but he does the uh, the arm stuff too, where they oh. put the, the blades and the, the gun. Well, depending um, on the scale so, that you're playing with. Okay, like it has the blades, right? Okay. Like, so here's, here's blade. You have to manually like put it down. I don't think there's a spot um, to, I, I'm not, seen a spot uh i could be missing it but it's so much harder to poke your eyes out nowadays without the spring-loaded action right yeah and it still looks pretty cool though um so i don't know i was i was looking forward uh to this and he definitely is a cool looking figure so um that's another one i've been admiring as as people have gotten him in i haven't ordered anything new in a while uh from the main line and, but yeah, he has yeah. a nice little smirk on his face. Do you think they're going to, I mean, they've done Armada and they've done Cybertron now. Do you think they're going to give any love to Superlink or Energon? I mean, it's hard to say. Hey. Um, I don't know. Like, I mean, who knows? Like, what? Energon eventually. Energon, I mean, of, I mean, it was the middle chapter and it was as right. far as Starscream specific and Prime, frankly was the weakest of the three, you know? Right. But some love would be would be nice. So I'm really curious. That was the Energon you think Megatron that we will... got, wasn't it? Hmm? Oh. Wasn't the, the Meg- Energon Megatron we got? The mm. core class? Yeah, we, we got that. We got oh. the, I mean, but I mean, I mean, I mean specifically Energon Starscream. Oh, oh, Okay. Oh, we've, okay. gotten, sorry, we've gotten sorry. the Armada Voyager and we've gotten the Cybertron Voyager. That's true. The Armada, or I'm sorry, the Energon one was a deluxe, but I'm, I would be okay if they upsized it. But of the three Star Screams for the Unicron trilogy, that was the weakest one. Where he's got like half his face is ripped away and he's like translucent and kind of wonky. It's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm fine the with The Cybertron it. one, though, it's a great design. Mm-hmm. Really good design. And it looks like they really realized it with that figure. So I'm curious, like, do you think that they're going to upscale this and, you know, do the, (laughs) no, like you you don't want your Titan class figure to be a big star scream or something. I wouldn't be, I personally wouldn't be against it, but I don't think they'll do it. You will easily be able to find upscaled version of that in a KO form eventually. What I want to see is that new Beast Machines Cheetor upscaled into Supreme Cheetor. Because of how simple it is already, and they just upscale it to freaking supreme, be awesome. <laughs> don't don't put that out in the universe. We already have too many supreme cheetors floating around. <laughs> and then we can send it to Don for a hot yep. minute. Well, they still exist somewhere. They're in storage bins and landfills all across the land, and they're gonna they're gonna rise up. What else you got in that box of goodies? Got this. Bruticus. 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 Little baby Keshi Bruticus. Uh, same same line. Um, these the combiners were also available in larger scale, along with Galvatron, Trypticon, Magnus, and Metroplex in a line called Forms Robo, which were about twice as big. And they were available in four colors: red, yellow, blue, and green. I've got some of those upstairs too. There, and so mm-hmm. if you want to have, if you want to recreate that thing where, uh, in in the original, um, decoy, like fold out catalog where it shows it shows Ratchet holding a decoy of Ultra Magnus, but they call him First Aid. They're like, our friend First Aid here is going to show us all about decoys, and he's holding up a Magnus thing. You can recreate that now. You can have a Voyager Ratchet holding up a Forms Robo Magnus and just call him First Aid. It's fine. Nice. Can, you can recreate all of your favorite scenes. Here, like no mistake, be forgotten. Never. Make it canon. It's it's canon in some random universal stream. It's fine. Hey, remember, My Little Pony at Transformers is canon. Mm-hmm. Have their own comic crossover. They were gonna. They were gonna show up in the uh, Pony movie. When the ponies, oh, that would when be the great. Po- yeah, when the ponies were going out for help, they were supposed to ask some Transformers and Shipwreck for assistance. 
many Transformer <laughs> crossover figures did they have? Was it Wait, was there a G.I. Joe pony crossover? Hmm? Say again? Was there a G.I. Joe pony crossover? To my knowledge, no, not officially. But it was it was planned for the pony movie. But there might be something. I don't know. I was going to say, how many Transformer ponies are there, Peter? Is it just the one or two? Just the one. Just the one plus the comic book. You can see our reflection in the thing. But Prime this... stickers? Nope. This is more microns. Redecos oh. are the ones that I showed off earlier. Um, plus the other wave, but these are in their MX and TC decos. Um, and this card itself is the front card from uh, uh, from a Gachapon machine, a Takara Tomy Arts Gachapon machine. So when I get my Gachapon machine and I put all my, my gachas in it, I can put this on the front of each section to show off, like, this is what's in here. So, thank you. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> This is the sort of stuff I'm chasing now. I'm I'm not done with mainline stuff, but having taken a break from mainline, I've, I'm able to focus on the but randomness. The attention that... to detail of not just each wave of the gacha pond, but you have all you have like the the machine inserts themselves in mm -hmm. pristine condition. That that's fantastic. Thank you. So how, that was for the. How do you even acquire something like that? Like that is that is crazy. Have you ever seen the movie Heat, where? Robert De Niro's character is like they're they're talking about a bank heist or something, and he's like, "How do you get this information on how how, how these security systems work or whatever?" And the guy he's talking to is his hand was like, "This information is just out here. You just have to you know how to grab it. You just, just listen and you just just grab it." So that's what I do. I listen and I look and I just I just grab it as it comes up. Just grab it. This is what he uses the dark web for. So here's another one uh, from Wave. This is from Wave Two with bulkhead knuckle and RC blade and whatever else. Wheeljack kunai? No, Megatron cannon and Isu do Dado. Dado is the turtle. So you need a website where people can just browse through all of the like craziness you have. I would love to do something like that. Eventually I'm going to I mean, I'm, I'm archiving all of this as it comes in and taking photos and stuff as I put it away. Eventually, I'm going to do something with it. What's next? So that's the second. Uh, oh, this one feels like something similar. So that was wave two and then the MXTC wave. And this is... Wave three, which has... Uh, Wheeljack Kunai, Ratchet Spanner, uh, Starscream Boomerang, and... A Dragonfly? Dobo, yeah, Dobo 1 and 2. So, And they come in inverse colors, so they're like all made on the same sprue, but you pop them out. And these ones come assembled, uh, but some of the redecos came unassembled. So there's that. Get Battle Base out. Oh, got another one. Mm -hmm. And this one is Oh, Anna. <laughs> oh yay! Yeah. I was just wondering when you had the gotchas, I was like, I wonder if it's the gotcha Q transformers. And so there the... is the gotcha Q transformers. Yep. Here is the card. So some of the gacha cues were available in boxes, some of them were available in cards, and some of them were available in capsules. And, oh. uh, so this is Magnus, Bumble, Lockdown, Jazz, and, uh, and RC. Yep, that's why I had to chart down that RC. Cues are fun. Um, and they had some interesting exclusives, I like too. Yeah. I do like them. I don't know if I want a whole collection of them or if I just want to track down my favorites, which would be Bumble and RC. Start with your favorites and see if you still have a niche. You know? I already have like, I already acquired quite a few recently, so I need to get those favorites. They also made uh, plush cues. There were three plush cues Prime, Lockdown, and Bumble. 
that were available as exclusives somewhere. And they're not they're not huge. They're little about this big. And they come in boxes. This That's is one to have. Oh, this is wave one. This is this is the card that goes with this wave of capsules that I have here that are I've buried under envelopes. But yeah, it shows off both versions of the other two dudes. So uh, lizard guy, snake guy, other lizard guy, other snake guy, and then the prime prime blaster and bumble sword. So are the Q transformers? Are they still? relatively readily available or yeah. are they harder to track down now at this point there are exclusives that are harder to find uh and a little bit expensive and then there were like convention exclusives things like that a mm. uh, couple of lucky draw type things exclusive dvds exclusive pins and key chains or key holders um but they're they're around you just have to just have to yeah you know keep your eyes and ears open this isn't the last item, but it's we're getting close. Mm -hmm. And I buy things and immediately forget that I bought them. So some of these are oh hey okay. You know what this is? I cannot tell. The little purple jet, clear plastic. Little. Translucent, yeah, purple uh, Astro Train. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's uh, either from, I think it's from Lost Age. I think it's one of the Lost Age microns. Pretty sure. And sometimes you can see the name, and sometimes you can't. And on this one, you can't. So I'm just going to guess that it's Astro Train. Uh, which means I still have to get for Lost Age, I have Silver Roller. I need Polly. There's my cat. But he's not going to come over here. He's a weirdo. Um, so I need Polly. And there was one other one that I'm missing. Mm -hmm. Find it eventually. This also isn't the last one. This is next to last, I think. This box. Got tape everywhere. Ooh. It's in a Pandora box. I don't know if you can Pandora oh, box. There you go. <laughs> Jewelry? Nope. And oh, we're gonna end with disappointment. So I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Um so Ooh. this is a set of white. Those little Ramines. Uh the other come on camera, focus. Don't look at my hand. Look at that. Ooh, white blur. Uh, cliff jumper. And then gong or, or come on. Uh, it's not gonna focus on any of these. So white but, oh. Yeah, the white doesn't the white doesn't pop. Here's Bumble. Oh, you can see the outline of them though. Yeah. How the flatty is. Sound wave. Sound wave. Let's see what else. There we go. Top, oh, the top of this. Convoy, yeah. yeah or, oh, convoy, yeah. And Seeker. Rando Seeker. We'll, we'll call it, yeah, Fred. Snowstorm. <laughs> Kitty. Yeah. And. Oh, reflector. Reflector and. Who's that Pokemon? Yeah, exactly. A laser back. Yep. No, -uh, it's Buzzsaw. Condor, you guys. Condor. But these were sold as Keshigomus, but now that I have them in hand, they are hard plastic. So I don't know. Oh. Yeah. So I think. What is I a Keshigomu? Uh, the the decoys, the rubbery decoys. But these are not rubber. These are. Blown plastic, but they still have Takara marks, so I don't know. And they, they have Takara marks and mold marks on the back. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to see it. There's no way we're make, making no, that detail out. But they, they've got mold marks on the back, so they were... Whoops. Well, I just dropped that one on my foot. Uh, and I just dropped it on the floor. Awesome. So they were, like, pressed. These are... 
They're not they're not like resin kits. So I don't know what the source is for these. Interesting, weird stuff. And is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's one more thing, I guess. And there's this guy. What do you say? Headmaster? Yep, that's Rodney. Or Lodany. He's, he's sealed. Well, he's tape sealed on the side. So, you know, like the reflection from the, the screen. There we go. Yeah, hold him right. at the right angle. And yeah. who is who is that character? This is one of the Headmaster Warriors that was trained on Planet Master during the Headmaster War. 1987 or 2011, depending on if you're talking about real world or continuity. Um, and yeah, so it's from the same gang as Shuffler and Loafer and Kirk and Trizer and uh, Leon and Shuffler. So while everyone else was at TFCon buying stuff, I was shopping because everyone was distracted. That's it. Uh, you had some amazingly obscure stuff. That is an impressive box of random. Yay! And as expected, that... not a single item in there did I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous that Peter got to end with disappointment. Can I end with disappointment too? Do oh, it. Absolutely. Don't leave me hanging. I want to end with disappointment. Oh, the next passenger. On the Will Jack train. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who's in there. Oh no! Inside that Will nice. Jack. I don't know. It's hard to tell. They're so well. Did the le the legs oh, fall floppy apart? Floppy foots. They're not falling apart. They're just very very loose. Oh my goodness! Is the character created to go with dark amber? I don't want to call it Leo Prime, but that's what it says in the box. Dark Amber Leo Prime. It's Dark Amber Leo Convoy, but whatever. Thank you. <laughs> she was a character that was completed to go with him in the Legends comic they made about him. She didn't have a toy. Someone commissioned a set of knockoff oversized of the um, the Skywarp mold. Says it doesn't have the air razor face. It has a Skywarp face, and that's accurate for her. And she is a very amusingly weird character who performs a like demon ritual to summon the soul of Unicron into the body of Lyle Convoy, which is hilarious and bizarre. So I really wanted to have her. And honestly, what a good. I have a lot of oversized KOs. I have a lot of KOs. I have a lot of really good KOs. This is not one of them. She has teeny tiny hands, which happens sometimes in the KO process. But they also decided to make the entire lower part of her leg out of die cast. Her feet are plastic, but this is all die cast. So you have die cast part on die cast part. There it goes. Flappy, 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 flap, 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 flap. And that's her life. Good. Character that I enjoyed a lot. Still something that I enjoy having, but uh, she cannot stand in bird mode at all. Because bird mode requires that you bend those lower legs, and that, that doesn't work. She just goes to eat bird seed off the floor for the rest of her life. So a little like tape on her leg or something. I mean, I guess I could. I could have her wear leggings. Have her wear some plastic explain. leggings, and she'd be fashionable and not fall over as much. But yeah, there's my disappointment to end thing. And a KO. I hadn't talked about a KO yet today, so I felt... There you go, yeah. I was feeling a little out of sorts. It was like, oh, yeah. no KOs. Was I was wondering. Yeah. yeah. I, I have, have a KO my, in there. in my cart for a while and waffled on it and waffled on it and opted out eventually. So... The I'm seller glad someone... sometimes puts it... The seller sometimes makes it really cheap on eBay. If you really wanted it when it goes down really cheap, that's probably the time to get it. I found it at TFCon, which mm. was such a like low probability 
to find that specific knockoff, you know, a few days after I had started looking for it at the con. And I went ahead and got it there. And yeah, in addition to being a floppy flopper, the paint is also rapidly chipping off of the metal legs. Well, yeah, if it's metal on metal. She'll just have silver. Yep. Ain't gonna work out. All that paint's gonna go away. She'll just have silver lower legs. So again, you know, no one's gonna judge me for it because no one's gonna know who the hell she is on my shelf, right? It's gonna be like, why is there a blue bird thing? What the hell is that? But there she is. Well, I like your blue bird thing. It's you pretty. Uh, yeah. but that's all it does. All the uh, masterpiece Lyo Convoy mold does too. He does pretty, and then he kind of sucks. So they go together. Peas in a pod. There you go. He's in a space well, because that's what they fly in. They fly in a space well together. Is that another thing? Cardboard it's Optimus? It is. It is a. Uh, yeah, I found another thing. They were using it at, as the bottom of the box. I'm glad I got curious. It is a paper craft trailer that you assemble and use to attach to the back of your Arms Master AM21 Optimus Prime figure from Arms Micron. Oh, I guess man. this is the second version that they came out with. There was one that came out for AM01 Optimus Prime. Uh, this one is for the AM21. And this was a TV magazine exclusive. Oh, and... and there are plastic parts somewhere in, in here that when when it's all assembled, you reinforce it with these plastic little things, and you can actually plug the arms micron into the cardboard trailer. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. I think that's it for real this time. Uh, I was going to mention Book Club this week. Uh, this weekend, Sunday night... Uh, at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern on the TF Talk Discord. And uh, we're going to learn why the Titans are so rare and Cyclonus uh, has his change for vengeance on Pyromagna in Transformers 2930. I, I still stand firmly by the fact that that second IDW run is the best story run of any Transformers series. Not, not sarcastically. I genuinely love it. It is just a fantastic story. I, I'm so disheartened that it was, that it's gone, and that we're that we have. So, just out of curiosity, and I don't know if it's spoilers or whatever, but did they actually wrap up the series? Like they, they gave it an ending. Yes. Yeah, they got an end, but did did it satisfy? However, it is a perfectly valid ending as far as. Like leading, uh, it could like it could be the prequel to original G one or several of the other stories that came later. As a and suddenly the Autobots show up crashing on Earth. Yeah, I do like that feature of it that it can just be a plug and play. What happened before? Yeah, how did the Decepticons? Like, we didn't have that before. This is that story. Gotcha. And, more importantly, the Autobots are actually good guys. No War Crimes Optimus. Yay, War Crimes Optimus. No? Um, so, I was going to mention, uh, next week we're going to talk about Masterpiece and where we think the line is going to go in the future. So, uh, if you want to check that out, that is going to be next Tuesday night. After an official period of mourning. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's, I think that's a better way to say what next week is going to be. Rob specifically asked for a, uh, a memorial service for my masterpiece. Good. So we can use this week to collect all the fan tears. Yes. yes. I wonder if fans toys prices will go up knowing that they're the only show in town they'll be like we are masterpiece now oh what about kfc 
no real comparison there. <laughs> will, will, will MP toy prices suddenly go up, or will be, there be a surge of people just selling out now? Well, I feel like uh, the MP prices are because like they used to reissue the masterpiece figures like relatively regularly. Uh, but they haven't done that in a while, and like it seems like the prices, at least on, you know, depending on what the figure is, um, have have went up a bit. Find out the answers to this and more next week. So, next yep. week. So, all right. Well, thank you guys uh, for showing off a lots of fun stuff. Um, thank you for indulging me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was fun, fun going through the box with you. Yeah. Did you know everything that was in the box, Peter? I mean, I bought all of it, but I, no, I don't. When I when I ship things, I don't pay attention to what's in the box. I yeah. just they ship it all. I don't care, and then it shows up, and I get treats and treasures, and and then weirdo bummer stuff. So the next box, um, in the next box, I know what's in. I know a couple of the items that are in it, and they are promotional items that are going to make people really unhappy with me so <laughs> yeah. we look forward to seeing that, that sounds promising it's let's open gonna... that box together okay it's a deal all right well thank you guys and we'll see you next week thanks <laughs>